Situated between Himalayan rivers and northern Bangladesh, these village homes are the way forward in flood-prone areas. Tiny homes, or kudibari in Bengali, are built on bamboo stilts that can reach up to two stories high. The design choice is less about the aesthetics and more out of necessity for a region often flooded by monsoon rains. Amid worsening floods brought on by global warming, these tiny homes are bringing hope to affected villagers. Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries to flooding driven by climate change. This village, for example, sits on a low-lying delta where the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers slowly wind through towards the sea. In cases of flash flooding, as the currents strengthen, residents living in these newly built homes can disassemble the tin walls and allow water to flow smoothly through the bamboo pillars. <laughs> The tiny house can also ease the cost of moving. It's a knockdown system, so it can be assembled, disassembled very easily. It's a mobile modular system, so that's why it can be moved from one location to another. And, and being a, a modular system, you can add and, and can be scaled up and down. Um, it uses local material, um, and as such, uh, the cost is much lower. Uh, at the moment, it costs about $450 uh, per house, including labor. Scientists have warned that ice in the Himalayas is melting faster than ever before, as the intensity of monsoon rains has simultaneously increased. Northeastern Bangladesh suffered record-breaking floods in 2022, leaving millions stranded and around 100 people dead. With millions of others at risk every year, relocating people to higher ground is a near-impossible task. Adapting is the only option for most. can say that this is a sort of a climate preparedness project also for us that's how we also see it because it's a it's an intervention into the vernacular architecture the government has built thousands of sturdy shelters to withstand severe storms that are also increasing in size and regularity while reducing fatalities cyclone shelters are only suitable for hunkering down during the short span of a storm